Hi, um, this is uh, one of the first V blogs, vlogs um, of mine so far, and I wanted to um, address a little issue that I've like talked to a lot of people about individually, and then they've asked questions and things of that sort. But I thought I would like just get it out there and maybe there's people who will benefit from this somehow or maybe not but okay you have to um, um, forgive for the lighting it's a little it's a little artificial it's still early in Finland and the Sun doesn't really peak out so much in the winter months so Okay, but what I'm actually what what I actually wanted to talk about was um, why I've been sort of taking a break from the my like review blog and stuff like that. And okay, so here it goes. I've been having these back pains for maybe ten years now, like on and off a couple of times a year, like two, two times, three times a year, like three max I think, usually not any more than that. And um, what happens is I don't necessarily do something and pull a muscle or something like that, it just kind of starts slowly hurting and then it goes full on and then I need to like lay in bed for a week and then it goes away so that's like normally what happens and I like every doctor I've ever visited said it was something to do with like the nerves or I don't know I, they just didn't really have an, any answer for me like what it was but of course all the other doctors didn't know it was going to continue for 10 years so um, so in January, it started to hurt, and I, like, just thought, okay, I'll, I'll rest a long weekend, and, and, you know, that, that'll do it, and I'll be fine and good, and everything's gonna be dandy. Okay, so it didn't work out that way, and, um, it's just very uncomfortable. I can't, like, be in one position long, like... Like I can't sit for longer periods of time, or I can't lay down for longer periods of time, or I can't walk, or I can't stand for like one thing for a long time. So, uh, uh, and what I do for a living, uh, taking care of small children uh, in a daycare, not really beneficial for the you know, easing the pain, like lifting little kids and picking up stuff from the floor and and being on the floor with the kids playing and, and um, whatever, you know, goes with the job. And it's just, it really doesn't feel good and it doesn't make it better. And so what I did was um, I went back to work and then I had to have another five days off because the pain got too bad and I got medication. Um, I have it here, I'm going to show you later like all the stuff that I have to use for this. Anyway, um, I got medication for it, like a seven day new kind of painkiller that wasn't like really dopey and druggy, which is nice because I don't like to feel drugged up. Um, so that happened and then I used it for seven days and it was the last two days that I didn't have like any pain which was like really awesome because I've had by that time I think I had pain for like two weeks straight which was really uncomfortable you know it's just not nice when especially when you're back like everything you do hurts um, so Anyway, uh, I got 
on Sunday and Monday when it didn't hurt like at all and I thought like oh hallelujah I'm cured and, and all is good mm, not so much uh, so what happened was that I so I went back to work and it started to hurt again and I felt like I needed the painkillers again but I thought I'm just going to just, just try and like not use so many drugs you know you have to have so, like a, a break between taking painkillers and taking painkillers so okay maybe I'm being a bit too detailed about this like what day I didn't feel pain <laughs> but so what happened is that it's now been uh, 30 days of pain two days that there wasn't any that Monday and that Sunday and Monday and I am getting extremely exhausted with this whole business and I can feel it's like draining all my energy and it's making me like like mildly depressed you know just like trying to just stand the pain constantly and just trying to like smile and be happy and you know not let friends and co-workers necessarily you know because who likes to be around a person who's constantly like ow ow that hurts ow ow okay it really hurts right now it really hurts again it really hurts again nobody wants that so I just kind of suck it up and so I spend like a couple of <laughs> um, breaks at work like crying in a bathroom because it hurt and I was just like holding it in and finally when I realized that I couldn't hold it in anymore then it started to hurt really badly again um, I got painkillers again and when that didn't work I just I had to stop I had to um, go back to the doctors and I got a doctor's appointment hey that's rain um, for Monday to get like muscle relaxants which I think is the only thing that is going to work because what's making this last longer than it should I think is the fact that you know you got muscles working so my muscles are like super tense and they're not really moving and there's most likely like a little nerve stuck between two muscles and when the muscles are all stiff and they're not moving and the nerve doesn't get out of there it's just the pain doesn't end so that is my diagnosis of sorts okay so what actually turned out that lady doctor two weeks ago um, ordered an x-ray of my back because she said okay 10 years periodic pain you know there might be something actually wrong with you so she got me to go and take an x-ray of my lower back and lo and behold I do have some like structural business wrongness going on in there since like birth or something like it's been long lasting it just didn't come out until like in my early 20s when it's or in my yeah when I was 20 when it started anyway it turns out that you know how you got like vertebrae and then you got the pelvic bone area thing I'm a bob uh, anyway, uh, my lowest vertebra, I think it's L5, um, you know, it's like this, and it has little wings on both sides. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna actually mimic a vertebrae with my hands. Cool. Okay, anyway, these little things, um, okay, just like imagine this here, and then you got the pelvic bones, like, here on both sides but these guys are too big so they're touching the bones on both sides and that's a lot of hand signals um, 
that somehow, you know, irritates stuff and nerves or something and pokes or whatever and um, just causes pain periodically, apparently. So, okay. But that's what's actually wrong with me. So it's not like, uh, like it's aligned wrong either way or it's, you know, the, the thing between like the discus. That's not like giant thing of a bob that has to be operated or something. It's not like that. It's just, it's not operatable. It's um, just something I have to live with and it happens every once in a while. And the main thing is like exercise and keep those muscles good and I would love to go to the gym or something right now and just like fix it but it's like so fucking painful that I'm not going anywhere near something I have to like tense my muscles for no freaking thank you no okay now the stuff that I actually use for this um, I think mainly, like, this is the stuff that I've been using the longest, which is just kind of a, like, a gel that, um, helps with pain, basically. It's, uh, for muscle and, like, ligament pain. It just works on the spot where you put it, and I put a ton of it on my lower back, or I make my hubby do it, because sometimes I just don't bend that way. Not when I'm in pain. Uh, the other thing that one of the physiotherapists I once consulted about this um, said that would work would be this um, construction thingamabob. It is um, a belt. You see? How can I show this to you? Anyway, it's this kind of... Does that? So it's this thing, it's just kind of, it's stretchy, and it kind of just holds your back in the position you put it in. So you don't like really bend wrongly. So that's what that is. And that sometimes helps and sometimes it makes it more painful. So I just kind of have to be smart about what I do and like when I use it. Okay, so this is the new painkillers that I got. Um, it's called Argoxia. It's 90 milligrams and it's Etoricoxib. 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 Etoricoxib, I think. The um, ingredient in this. And it seems weird because I've been take I took I've been taking like um, eighteen hundred grams no yeah six hundred three times a day that's eighteen hundred right yeah eighteen hundred uh, milligrams of ibuprofen daily for that two weeks before I got these. And these are just like one, uh, like 90 milligrams, so it seems like less effective, but um, they do work much better than ibuprofen does. But it doesn't seem to be quite working with how bad my back has gotten now. Okay, so what we're going to do because it is morning and I do have a full stomach because I just ate breakfast I am going to have one because I don't want to be in pain and there's a little number code in here it says Arcoxia 90 milligrams and this is tablet 202 I have not taken 202 tablets but for some odd reason there is a little number in this guy and Maybe it's my lucky number for the day or something. My plan for the future is to just take it really easy and rest and kind of just like lay on the sofa and 
watch TV in positions that allow it. And then every time my hubby takes our dog on a walk, I'm gonna go a, like a little slow walk and stretch things so they don't get like too stuck as they are. And then just like go to the store, try and like take it really easy. And uh, the, um, and the doctor said like, just don't, whatever you do, this sick leave you're on, don't just like stay in, like walk a little bit. But I've noticed it really hurts when I walk uphill. Like that's when the pain starts, so I'm just going to try, <laughs> try and like, even ground, just do it like that. Okay, so just wanted to let you know, like all the people who've asked like what it is and what happens and what not, and then that's what that is. That's why it hurts, and that's why... You know, you may see me all happy and smiling and everything, and it really still fucking hurts. I just don't show it. Alright, but um, hopefully Monday will, you know, get me some sort of magical pill that will freaking fix this because I've had enough and I am done. Okay. <laughs> Alright, just um, wish me luck and hope for the best and I will see you later. Bye.